Evil Dead Rise is a 2023 horror film written and directed by Lee Cronin and starring Lily Sullivan and Alyssa Sutherland as two estranged sisters reunion is cut short by the rise of flesh-possessing demons. Warner Brothers presents this film on 4K with Dolby Vision and HDR10. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel. I am Ken and today we are here to talk about Evil Dead Rise, the new 2023 horror film directed uh, by Lee Cronin and also produced by the legendary horror director Sam Raimi and also legendary horror actor Bruce Campbell. So this movie had to be great, right? We'll get into it. We'll talk about the movie itself. We'll talk about the 4K picture quality. We'll talk about all that stuff. Audio, we'll talk about, uh, well, maybe we won't talk about special features, but we'll talk about why we won't talk about special features a little bit later on. And then we'll also do a little unboxing of this amazing release from Warner Brothers. So this is supposed to be coming out on June the 27th. I did get an early review copy in to show off and talk about with you guys. So um, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to drop this video. I could drop it after it releases um, or I could drop it before. I have no idea. I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. But we're going to talk about this movie. I will link it down below. It is currently going for $27.95 on Amazon. I'm going to link that down below in the description if you decide that you want to get it uh, based on what I say here today. So, And look, before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe. Look, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We talk about we talk about this stuff here on this channel, 4Ks and Blu-rays and only the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me every single day and then turn on those bell notifications. And look, this is a movie that came out in the theaters in April. If you got thoughts and opinions on this, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know where it ranks for you in the franchise. I did not see this movie in the theaters. The first time that I watched it was with this 4K release. So. Let me get into my brief thoughts on the movie. I'm not going to get too elaborate here because I do have a standalone review for this on my wife and I's channel, Married With Media, which if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. It's always linked down below. But we did a full breakdown and review of this film and our thoughts. So I'll just give my brief, uh, very brief thoughts on the movie here right now. So I don't want to be too negative with this film. I do want to rewatch it. Um, at some point, but this one, it just, I don't know. It didn't have that, it didn't have that it factor that all the other Evil Dead movies do to me because the, Evil Dead's like one of the most consistent horror franchises. Like I either really like or love every movie in this franchise. I love the first one. I really like the second one. I love Army of Darkness and I loved, absolutely loved the 2013 remake. So I was hoping for a little bit more of that with this movie. And it definitely feels like it tries to copy, tries to mimic the 2013 remake and, and then kind of, you know, maintain that tone that was established, that Fetty Alvarez established uh, back in 2013. But I don't know, to me, like the characters just weren't as interesting. They were kind of annoying. Some of the characters just kind of got on my nerves. And all the moments in this movie just felt like They'd already been done before and they'd already been done better back in 2013. So I appreciated the new setting and the high rise apartment building, um, you know, it, taking it out of the cabin in the woods. But I don't know, it kind of, it, even though it was in a new setting, like it still felt like the same thing. Like they were isolated in an apartment building. Um, you know, there's definitely more characters in this than I'm used to. Like there's probably like 10 characters, like there's there's the woman, there's her three kids, there's, uh, they got like five neighbors, there's her sister. So there's like 10 or 12 characters like in this apartment building when there's usually only like four or five characters in a traditional Evil Dead movie. So you had to get used to that. I guess the stakes were a little bit higher in that respect. So I don't know. I just, uh, I, I liked it. Look, I liked it, but to me, this is easily easily the weakest in this franchise. And I don't even think uh, that's up for debate. Like you could tell me that this is your favorite of the franchise. Um, but I don't know if I could take you seriously, to be honest. I'm just kidding. If this is your favorite, this is your favorite. Um, I thought it was good. I did like the opening. I really did like the opening and how that tied in at the end. I thought that was pretty cool. And it does make me kind of look forward to the next one. And hopefully they do a next one because I always like seeing, you know, franchises continue and hopefully they, they do more with the next one. And I enjoy it a little bit more, but 
I don't know. This one, it was okay. Look, as a movie, it was okay. That's that's my thoughts. I'll give it a three and a half. It's not terrible. There's some good gore. Um, I think the performance by the mom, it's it's okay. I thought the character of Beth, played by Lily Sullivan, did her best impression um, of Jan Levy, uh, Mia's character from Evil Dead 2013. Like she tried her best to match that badassness of Mia in the 2013 version just didn't quite get there. Like they tried to do their own like recreation of the feast on this mother effer moment at the end of 2013. And it just didn't land for me. So I, I appreciate, look, they tried. I'm not going to say they didn't try. They made an evil dead film. It was, it was kind of mediocre for the franchise in my opinion, but they did make an evil dead movie. They were faithful to the franchise. It matched the tone. It matched the themes. There's nothing that offends me about this existing. Like, I think it's a, it's a solid entry. It just, it, I don't know. It just, it was missing something though for me. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I'll give the movie a 3.5 um, out of 5 for the actual score. So getting it to the 4K of this, and look, I popped in the Blu-ray for about 10 minutes, and this is why I think that if you love this movie, if you saw it in the theaters, you're going to want to get this on 4K. It looks substantially uh, better to me on 4K than it did on Blu-ray. Like you have those deeper black levels, which really enhance the picture quality of this movie in particular, because this movie is very dark. Like it's in this dark apartment complex. And when you have that like increased black levels and that increased, uh, you know, depth of the picture quality um, and the contrast, the blacks versus the lights, like all that stuff just looks spectacular um, in that darker setting. Everything this looks so much more clean and crisp and you can just see and make out every single detail. Not that you can't in the Blu-ray, but it just looks so much more defined uh, when you're watching this in 4K. Not to mention the HDR and the Dolby Vision. What that does to enhance the the blood and the gore and just some of the the like you know gross sequences of this movie. Like you're gonna want that HDR because there's some incredibly gory sequences and a lot of blood, and you want that in HDR because you want to see that blood and just the richer the richest presentation. You want to see that the redness of that blood in all of its glory. So I think that if you like this movie in the theaters and you want to watch this movie in the best possible way you gotta go 4k because i think that 4k just looks the best the blu-ray looks fine it looks fine i'm not saying you can't get the blu-ray i'll link that down below as well but the 4k is where it's at especially that opening sequence it, it's so cool and we've all seen it if you haven't seen the movie it, this isn't spoiling anything but like there's an image of somebody that like comes out of the lake and they're like flying in the air and then the title card comes up and it's in red and just the contrast of that red with the the orange background of the of the sky it's like a sunset or a sunrise Oh my God, that's beautiful. It looks so good. Like it took my breath away watching it um, on 4K. So yeah, just great quality overall in 4K, just great facial definition. So not taking anything away from this 4K at all. I thought it looked absolutely uh, stellar and fantastic. The movie was just okay, uh, but the 4K looked pristine. So let's get into the sound and we'll talk about the Dolby Atmos, which this includes. It also has Dolby True HD 7.1, Dolby Digital 5.1, and it has a French and Spanish Dolby Digital 5.1 as well. So you got a lot of options here uh, when it comes to audio. But Dolby Atmos, watching this this morning, it definitely uh, pops in all the right places. I thought the sound was fantastic throughout. You hear the creaks, you hear the bumps, you hear the bangs, you hear the chainsaw revving up when you get to that final act. Uh, which I will say, the final act of this movie is actually pretty good. The last 15, 20 minutes, I think, really stand out. But yeah, you get to make out all the little sounds like when they're playing the record and they're reading from the book and just all the little voices that you can hear in the background, like all that stuff sounded uh, spectacular in the Dolby Atmos. And I don't have that full setup. I am listening to this on a soundbar with a subwoofer that does simulate that Dolby Atmos setup. So I don't have that true setup, but it's, it sounded fantastic to me. No issues uh, with the sound here. So getting into a little bit of an unboxing, I'll show off that cover right there. You got the nice 100th anniversary Warner Brothers banner. You got that nice gold banner at the top, but to be perfectly honest, it just doesn't match the rest of this cover. Like the image of the mom with the zombie hands holding her kids, like that just doesn't match that banner. I just don't think it fits with this particular uh, release. I think they should have went silver for that instead of gold, but flipping it over, you got some nice images on the back. You got the synopsis of the top, a pull quote, and then you got all the specs down there at the bottom. So 
You got the rated R rating and you got uh, what's included in this set. And then we'll get into the actual uh, 4K right there. And then we'll flip it to the back. You do have the casting list on the back. And then inside with this release, guys, and this is not every Warner Brothers release, but you do get the uh, Blu-ray and you also get the 4K in this release. And then you also get a digital code. So very generic artwork um, on the discs themselves, just the gray and the black with this. But, you know, I, I would definitely like the studios to start stepping up and adding artwork. Like if they would have included that whole title sequence with a girl floating above the lake as a disc art, like that would have been awesome. And I would have been completely down for that. But it's, you know, it's good packaging. I'm digging the 100th anniversary Warner Brothers uh, slip covers. I think they look pretty good. I just want to switch that out though. Instead of the gold, I would have made it uh, silver. But let's get into the special features, guys. We got a lot to cover here. Um, actually we don't, we have no special features to cover here for Evil Dead Rise, which look, I, I've said it numerous times here on this channel, even when they just port over, which there's no porting over here. This is the first time this is out on physical media. Uh, but even when they just port over like past special features and they don't add anything new, I always call, I always call the studios out, add something new. Like, what are you guys doing? Um, add something new. It doesn't have to be a lot, just something. And this is... To me, guys, this is ridiculous. This is a new studio film. Are you telling me that the, nobody filmed any special features? Nobody filmed any kind of making of or onset interviews or anything? Like Lee Cronin just wouldn't allow it? Sam Raimi wouldn't allow it? Bruce Campbell wouldn't allow it? They were all working on this movie together. We couldn't get any kind of little like interview making of with all of these people. Like that's just ridiculous to me. Like talking about Evil Dead Rise coming back after 10 years, Evil Dead coming back after 10 years. I just, I cannot fathom why Warner Brothers wouldn't include any special features with this release. It's completely ridiculous. Why could we not get a audio commentary? Like Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi were all like together. And I get Sam Raimi was working on Doctor Strange, whatever. They were all together on a panel, like on a little like a panel thing. That was when the guy like called out from the rafters. Evil Dead Rise sucks. To try and get the schedule on the goddamn movie. What's that? This movie fucking sucks. What? Which I'm kind of on that guy's side now because it's not the greatest movie. Um, I don't know if anybody saw that or not, but they do that. They do the whole panel. You're telling me, guys, they they could not. They could not muster ten minutes. They couldn't muster ten minutes of behind the scenes footage documentary, interviews, whatever. But like a commentary would have been so cool. Bruce Campbell, Sam Raimi. And again, we might get that in the future. Who knows? But Bruce Campbell, Sam Raimi, uh, Lee Cronin, maybe one of the actresses of the movie, all sitting down like the lead actress that plays the zombie mom, uh, talking about Evil Dead Rise. Like, come on, guys. Like, this is, this is 2023. Physical media is hot right now. We want this stuff. And it, that is just ridiculous to me. I, I cannot believe that they did not include any special features in this release. Sorry guys, rant over there. But Evil Dead Rise guys on 4K. Look, I didn't love the movie. I thought it looked great on 4K. It sounded great. I liked the packaging, but no special features. And for $27.95 makes this a very hard sell for me. Like I, I cannot, I cannot in good consciousness sell this to you all and try to tell you this is the best release of the year or anything that you need to buy this right now. My advice to you, if you love the movie and you want to see it on 4K, go ahead and buy it because it looks great. looks absolutely fantastic. If you're on the fence and you haven't seen the movie and, you, and you're just not sure, I say wait. Wait till this sucker goes down to like 17, 18 bucks or something and then snatch it up because $27.95 is just too much for this movie with no special features. It's just... I, I just, I cannot recommend it, guys. In good in good faith, I cannot recommend Evil Dead Rise um, on 4K. Again, looks great. Movie's not great. No special features. $27.95. The price point is just too high. So thank you all so much for watching my review of Evil Dead Rise. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Comment down below your thoughts on the movie, your thoughts on this 4K release. Let me know about it in the comment section below. Turn on those bell notifications and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.